Hey YouTubers and people, gamers and whatever else you may be, I am here, <laughs> he's back and it's another pickup video as obviously from the title. Um, yeah I've got a range, uh, got a, a selection of um, Toot to, sh to share with you guys but first of all um, I had to do a little shout out to an another YouTuber uh, Mike in Mike Shed, um, I'm going to leave a link to his channel below He's done us, um, he's, I've got to have a gift from him and we're actually wearing it That's modelled by me, this sort of, uh, yes What's the counter called girl? Something. Uh, Jan Jew And uh, the proper title is, uh, what's it called? Janju Bitch of the Galaxy Yes uh, he um, does a lot of artwork and he's had some t-shirts made up and he sent us not a great one I'm a big um, Boba Fett so, stroke Star Wars fan so this is you know, a fantastic gift Mike, thanks a lot and people if you're interested um, do check out his channel um, it's called Mike Shed and it's um, it's all about uh, I guess a pop culture for people like us who are in our 40s I suppose really uh, loads of goodies um, and uh, um, he does videos, or um, you know, he collects VHS, lots of gaming bits. Uh, old, he recently got a, a Specky pickup, I think he has, as well as some VHS tapes. Uh, does, like I said, artwork, toys, all sorts of things. Um, real decent chap from the uh, Manchester area, really funny, down to earth. He's the sort of the earth, he's the sort of. Uh, if we were neighbours, I'd be definitely down. Mike shared a lot. I'm sure I would be. <laughs> As if he would have me. Ha. But anyway, um, without further delay, uh, let's have a look at some of the other pickups. We've got a bit of a mix, really. And I, I think this may be a new regular feature of my pickups. I might do uh, one vinyl, which I pick up. Because I tend to pick up about one vinyl every month or so. I've got I only got a small collection of about 200 vinyls. And there's about another 40 on my want list, really. And I thought I might as well just show the old final, which I might recommend if I if I picked it up recently, really. And uh, that I would say this is the one I picked up recently. Anyone recognise that um, that game? Oh, that game. This album and this group. I say group. It's obviously the legendary Beastie Boys, and uh, it's for the greatest hits. And this pitch is quite iconic. Um, it's one of the ones that was taken early in their days when they was, you know, just about signed up type thing, and they, you know, they thought they thought that being young lads they were super super cool, even though in retrospect they think they probably think that's they're quite slightly embarrassed by that, but because it's so old, it's also quite a cool um, image now, so it's um it's 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 turned quite cool, but obviously one of the coolest things there is that they got one of the most iconic. Um, Stereos ever, um, boom boxes, get a blasters, whatever you want to call them. And Techmoan, if you check out Techmoan's channel, he does a lot of technology programs. He does a feature on that on that stereo actually, um, as a as a classic machine really. But this is you know um, this album is a double album. It's got all the hits. I'm not going to go through them. Check them out. But if you buy this, it's only one condition. You have to have a volume up loud. And disregard what your um, what your family may say about it, because uh, what do they know? We know good stuff. Okay, um, still not exactly gaming related, but another uh, bit of tour I picked up recently is um, uh, I'll just show it really. Two pieces. Yep, Trap Jewel and Battle Cat. These are actually originals. Um, in total, both of these cost me together probably about the £45 mark, uh, mm. which isn't bad considering you know how much it costs just to get the latest, newer versions. I mean, I mean, I've got um, what's it called, a special seven or whatever it is, or was it special eight? I can't remember. Um, you know, reproduction of Skeletor or box, and that's faithful to the actual original designs. But there's been so many. Other versions of the uh, He-Man figures coming out um, over the last few years, and this one's out recently. I saw them in Smiths, and if you got the new versions of these, not that you can get Trapjaw yet, but even if you did, you're still looking at about the same price. So I might as well go for some 
of the originals really and they look great on my shelf and um, with the new range actually they've got the Battle Cat and the Scare Tool Cat one was it called Panther or whatever else I can't remember now they're quite good in the box they actually quite um, the design's quite good of those I would recommend those but the, the looks of the faces of a new range is a bit off a little bit so it's not really set but you know obviously originals is the way to go if you can just put them there stay calm battle cat um, okay gaming related more game related although not a game is um, this little reproduction of the Mega Drive now when the Mega Drive Mini came out this was came out I think a month or two before that came out and it's you know it's obviously a little miniature reproduction <laughs> Of a mini drive, a second mini drive, a mega drive, with a reproduction car of, of a Sonic game, box, and controller, and even instructions, little standees. And I think when this came out, it was about a 40 or 50 pound mark. Um, I think the company must have gone bust or something because there's sellers on this saying you brand new copies of this for 8.95 for shipping on eBay. And so I thought when I saw it for that price, I thought. It's turned. T it's too cheap to turn down with eight ninety five for that. I think it's a shame I never survived long enough to do um, other little machines and stuff. Because I would have loved a, a Dreamcast and a or um, Saturn one, um, you know, to go with them. But hey ho, uh, eight ninety five bargain, guys. And if you're interested for one yourself, just check out eBay. I'm sure you're there's more there still. Like gaming related, but not exactly, well, not a game. Resident Evil 3. I saw you, I put it in this little baggy thing, you can't really see it. It's um, it's um, it's a limited edition key ring and badge set by Numskull. So you've got the umbrella key ring, the raccoon, um, the stars raccoon city police badge, and a few other badges and stuff as well, all part of the box set, little box set. They had this in game last week, and it was like, I think it was about. Fourteen ninety nine, and um, yeah, I thought that's not a bad price for that. And uh, it's quite a nice little presentation box set that came in. Only had a couple there, so I thought I might as well pick that up. Um, why? Why for a collection? Okay. Um, I might just start going through the pickups. I suppose it's going to take a while. Okay. First of all, on the Xbox One, I see I think the only one game I got here. Got this part of the 3 for 2 deal. I had about £15 worth of vouchers, so this probably cuts across next to nothing. A in iso uh, isolation, Nostromo edition. I've got this on the other systems, but I, I didn't have it on the Xbox One, so it's nice to have. Um, couple of GameCube games. Got this on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it, was, it was £10. Beautiful Joe, Red Hot Rumble. I messaged the guys, it hasn't got a manual, he said yeah, Turn out, turned up there, opened the box, no manual. Um, I mean, he should have just said, oh, I've knocked a few quid off, but he, he wouldn't. But for 10 quid still, it was still cheap, and so I ended up getting a manual off eBay for 9 quid, so 19 quid in total. Which is still not bad for this particular title. Uh, Simpsons Road Rage, again on the GameCube. Um, I had to hit and run already, but I just wanted to get all the Simpsons games on all the systems, really. Uh, this was 50p. Uh, 4 out of 4 on the Xbox One. So I've got another Xbox One game. I forgot about that. 50p. That is... This is this. There was several Steelbooks editions. This one was a double pack of a Steelbook plus a, a plastic case edition. And then there was just a, steel, a standalone Steelbook edition with a game inside it released. And this is that standalone version. It's a slightly different artwork on the still book, so that's all complete actually. It's not missing anything. So for 50p, not bad. Not definitely, I'll take that all day. Oh yeah, I've got more Xbox ones. I didn't realise that. Um, okay, this was some CX, CX Mint. It looked like brand new, like it did, and it was only three pound. And I couldn't leave it, even though I've already got this. So. I compared this, this to one I've already got, and it's not a lot of difference between them. The one I've already got was pretty minty too as well. So I've, I made a perfect edition, and this is like a duplicate copy, which I'm just going to keep on the shelf 
for now and maybe trade in the future when it's worth more but it's a shame but I just couldn't leave it, it Gears of War 4 box set you know it came, came with everything inside all the stickers and everything for three quid from CX it was just too cheap to leave another still book on the Xbox One which I've been it's been on my want list for a long time and uh, it was 30 quid a little bit more than I would have liked to have paid but still Sometimes you don't know if you're going to see these again in the wild, and I don't want to get these online because in case, in case that they're all battered, really. But it's minty, perfect condition, Forza Horizon 4 still book. Okay. Um, <coughs> last month I, I picked up a way forward um, game, and I've got a, a, another couple to show you that guys this one's on the Game Boy Advance um, it, it is my way forward even though there's no mention of way forward in the packaging but it is and it's, it, these are the guys who bought us um, the Shantae games and it's Justice League Heroes with Flash uh, it's got IDOS on the packaging as well as the back and um, it is a, a really good um, little adventure beat em up stroke um, there might be some platforming elements but it's more of a beat em up but game with superheroes and with a flash you've got a sort of unusual little um, art style and movements but it's a really good game and I've got on £17 of eBay or box to complete which I thought was a quite a good price for this title because I think this is bound to be a bit of a maybe a hidden gem maybe but if you like you know your Shantae and just um, and uh, games uh, guys um, and you're into way forward I do recommend picking that one up Definitely, while well, you can. Okay. Uh, one free DS game that was about three quid. Apparently, it's based on this mobile phone app. Well, I believe, believe it or not, it's called Doodle Jump Adventures. You know, you think from that art style, I'm not impressed. But to be honest, some of the best games out there, they have pretty simple graphics, and it, this is one of those really. It's like a little platforming, jumping type game, very simple, extremely good reviews on, 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 the, on the net. So, for free quick complete from CX, why not? Another cheap game, which was about £1.50 or £2 mark from CX. It's a, a pinball game, which is quite unusual. It's got a pinball game with a bit of uh, adventure RPG elements too, or whatever really. And that is Flipper Critters. Again, the artwork on, on the front leaves a lot to be desired. But uh, the gameplay is actually quite good. So it's like a, an, another pinball game for DS. Again, if you see it cheap, guys, recommend it. Um, okay, I'll clip the Monster Jam games. Uh, one of these I still need to get the cartridge for because they, they didn't have it in CX but they gave me a box for free and that is Monster Jam, it will complete the main one but I do need a cart so if anyone's got a cart of that guys just let us know and I will do a trade uh, Box and complete, uh, that was box for free by the way, they just gave me a box in the end because they was going to throw it away in CX but um, Monster Jam Urban Assault, um, yeah I think this is about the £12 mark Like this game, uh, the, this last one's again by Ray Ford. It's been on my radar for a long time. Um, when I was first, when I, a couple of years, about two or three years ago, it was about a £45 mark or complete, but it's gone up in price. You know how it is. Everything's gone up in price. And for £45, you, uh, you would only get the, a, um, a copy without the manual, and I'm a bit of a completist, really. So, to, to, so I looked at full copies with manuals and they, they, a lot of them were going for about £100 mark. I don't want to pay that much. The cheapest place I could get it all complete with shipping from the States, or, or calendar, one or two, but it was all complete, all original, not fake, was from, from uh, uh, Amazon USA, I think it was, was for about £75. And so I've got the Way Forwards Contra 4 on a DS. So yeah, I'm really pleased to have that big hit on a DS. Get, I got it off, uh, off my hit list and uh, again you know if you, if you collect Contra games this is one that you guys need to pick up. If you're in the States you can probably easily get that complete cheaper 
because you don't have to pay shipping and, and, and import duties and stuff so don't sit on it guys you, if you're in the states you're lucky to have this so pick it up while you can Okay, um, I thought I'd pretty much finish collecting for a PS1, but sometimes you see the ones and you think, oh, I might as well have that, add it, add it, and it's a, it's a shooting game, a night gun game, which I did not have. It is for, I went for the rental version, because I've got a few rentals, what's good about this is that they've got the instructions either on the back of a box or inside the, the or printed on the inner sleeve which is this one's got and it is um, a sort of cutesy light gun game called um, rescue shot or complete yeah it wasn't a lot of money this um, I think it was about a 15 pound mark maybe or a bit maybe a bit less certainly a lot cheaper than buying the sand in the dual case version um, I'm getting through my um, there was, a, there was a few PAL Dreamcast games I decided to add to my list. I thought I was complete, but I thought I'd add a few. Some of these I already got on the on the PlayStation, but others um, I just wanted to get. So I got Evil Dead Hail to a King, um, all complete. That was not cheap. I think that was about a £22 mark. So uh, some of these I, I haven't bagged up because I'm going to get. I've ordered some replacement cases from. Uh, is it Pixel Heart Games? Um, they, they, uh, they work out about 70 quid for 10 cases, so I've got that coming with some games. So um, when I get those, I'll change cases out. And because I've been going through, all, I've been through all my Dreamcast games, looking at the blue case. If there's any cracks on the spindle bits, that you know, sometimes you get, you know, those bits break off, or there's crack on any cracks on on the, the front of the back cases. And so I've been making, putting together Frankenstein perfect cases for for games, really. So I did. I did need another ten replacement cases. So, but uh, when they come, I can sort these games out. So I got uh, another Sega racing game, Ferrari 355 Challenge, uh, Persona, Persona or whatever, Persona Rossa. That wasn't a lot of money. I think that was under a ten pound mark. Another game which was about the same price, which is highly recommend, which I do have on the PS One. It's the vanishing point on the Dreamcast. Uh, a, 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 um, a crazy taxi type clone. Highly recommend, really good. Super runabout. Again, this is about, I think this is about the 12 pound mark. Uh, again, it was, I think this might be under a tenner. Silent Scope. And another snow, um, a Sega snowboarding game, Snow Service, servers, well, I should say, Snow snow Servers, bit of an apple. Um, yeah, Pixel Heart games, as you know, they re uh, release, um, you know, a lot of um, Dreamcast games. And uh, they've been re, re, re releasing some older games as part of their classic range. And so this is available in their classic range for about 25 euros or something plus more for shipping and everything else whereas you can buy the original or complete even in the crack case for about you know, about eight or about eight or nine quid so it just makes sense to buy a new case and just have the original really i don't know why you would want to buy classics unless you want it all sealed i suppose but even so it's still a, a wee release and not original so i don't know I think they should re-release re games that are really expensive and more than common titles for that. But I guess it, from their point of view it's a good game so that's why they've done it, I don't know. Right. Oh, something else that isn't exactly um, gaming related which I got. Um, I was born in 1972 and uh, saw this and I was looking at stuff for Battle Brush, something of the day. And as an annual on Amazon, all complete Fiverr, 1972, the year I was born. So yeah, it's a bit of history. History, it's not a bad condition. It was a Fiverr, and shipping from a shop on Amazon, believe it or not. So I thought, why not? Uh, 
Okay, got some, some PSP goodies. We have Monster Jam Path for Destruction. This is a game that, this is in the States only. I've got this from um, uh, Play Asia, all new and sealed, shipped um, with shipping and everything else. It still cost about a forty-five pound mark. But to get this game complete is so hard. You can see a few loose copies on Amazon USA and and, and on eBay. Uh, but none of them have got boxes or or or, um, or artwork. I don't know if it was like a rental game or whatever. Why it's so difficult to get hold of? But I got it all complete and sealed. So that's the one I'll keep um, guarded in the collection. Um, my brother gave me some of his um, old PSP games, and he used to import a few, not many, Japanese games. And so a good football game for a Konami in Japan. Winning eleven nine. Obviously, you know, plays fine. You know, some of it's obviously most of the languages in, in Japanese. We can work it out. Uh, this movie, this is a PSP UMD movie um, based on the anime, which I do have. Blood the Last Vampire. Unfortunately, this is all in Jap Japanese, no English subtitles. But it was free. It's my brother. It's a good anime, so it's not bad for a collection. And uh, a, a demo disc he had. Um, I haven't got many. P I don't think I've got any PSP demo discs or in box. PSP greatest hits, volume one, those sort of demos. Um, I don't know how many volumes are made of this from, uh, from the official P PSP PlayStation magazine. But still, to have the first one, I thought, why not for a PSP collection? Okay. Turn to the PS2 quickly. A few YouTubers have got this. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's cheap. It is the iToy Play Pom Pom Party. I think this is more of a European release because on the back there's no uh, there's no English wine. It's all European languages. This was like five pound, but it came without the. It, it came all with the pom poms all new within the box, in the box is a little bit tattered. Uh, the game all fine, all sealed. But the iToy camera was not included, so obviously someone took it out to so on. I was able to get another iToy camera for about another fiver, uh, eight quid with shipping. So in total, this game cost me about 15, 16 quid with shipping for all the bits to make it complete. So again, it's not too bad for a PS2 oddity for a collection. Okay. Sticking with PS2, we have a game that was about 175 of eBay, Circus Maximus, um, Chariot Wars, it's on my hit list, it's one I don't see that often. Uh, another uh, uncommon, I can't take all the Dancing Stage games by Konami, and this one's really uncommon to see in the wild, it's Dancing Stage 2 Supernova 2. Uh, unfortunately, it is the sort of Swedish version or whatever it is on the back. Uh, the guy didn't mention that when I ordered it. I paid 10 quid. He knocked a couple of quid off, so it was about 8 quid. So that's still not too bad because it is an incredibly uncommon game to get. And But I think there is an English release, it's just sort of very uncommon. Um, I had this on the uh, original Xbox, but I didn't have it on the PS2. I didn't know it was on the PS2. But it's a double box set set for, for Evil Dead, Fistful. Uh, Fistful Boomstick, so obviously it comes with uh, uh, the Evil Dead 2 movie on DVD plus the game. The outside sleeve's a little bit it's, it's tatty, but it's, it's it's all in one piece though. And that was about um, um, I was watching it and the guy gave off gave, threw me off of you know, you know you know you know gave me an offer of fifteen quid if I wanted to pay fifteen quid for it. And I thought that's still cheap because a lot of people were wanting to charge very quick for this. So 15 quid, that's not too bad, I thought. Okay. Uh, one Xbox 360 title. Uh, again, I've only got about no, four or five on my want list. Uh, and it's Aliens Colonial Marines Limited Edition CX, two quid. There's another one off the list. Um, 
I wanted, the, I said, get the, get the Simpson games on all the systems, and I didn't have these on the Xbox. Finally got them off eBay, cheaper than the CX I was asking for them. So I've got, um, I can't remember which way round, but one game was 8 quid and one game was 12 quid. Uh, so I've got Hit and One and Road Rage. Um, I can't remember which one was the cheaper one. Um, I can't remember now. But basically, um, 20 quid for both titles, which is cheaper than uh, see what CX are wanting. I think you pay about 32 quid for CX for those together. Um, the Wii game, North, um, Cabela, sort of North American Hunting Extravaganza, I think that was a £6 in CX. This is an incredibly uncommon game by Funbox on the Wii. Um, online, people are asking a hell of a lot more than 6 quid for this. But to see it in, in stock and CX or complete, I picked it up because I thought, I remember seeing that game, I, know, I thought that was an expensive game, and it is. Um, it's not a stupid amount of money, but it's still, I think it's a probably about a £30 mark on, in, on the internet. Um, this game, this game, CX wants six, 6 or 8 quid for this. And, and I just wanted the first Just Dance on my Wii collection. So I managed to get it online from the, what's that, that online shop, was that some books or whatever it's called, I can't remember now. And it was about £4 and it came all complete, which I'm really pleased. Then about three or four days later, I was just in cash converters, and they were still selling them for about two quid in cash converters, and it was copy complete, so it's just typical in it. So you can get this for two quid in cash converters, but no point getting it to trade in at CX because CX will give you less than two quid for it, even though they'll resell it for six or eight quid. So that's the way it is. Um, this I got off. In CX, I think it's about a, t a ten pound mark or complete. I think it's about ten pound. It wasn't a lot more. Grand Theft Auto double box set. I had this on the PS2, but I thought I might as well get them on the original Xbox. A lot of people are going for the original Xbox collections, and I ha and I've been in contact with a lot of tubers who are giving a bit of advice because uh, if you want to go for a complete set, that's a good, as a big set. But even if you want to go for the exclusives. If you look into it in detail, which I have, because I've got a complete set of exclusives, plus a few of my favourite games, um, you're looking at closer to a 200 game mark. It's not just a 50 odd games exclusive to the uh, Xbox that came out. Um, if you look at it in more detail, ones that did not come out on the PS2 as well, it is closer to a 200 mark. So it's not just for only on Xbox titles you've got to look at. It's, there's lots of league games that are exclusive on Xbox that didn't have that little title on. And as like I said, it's close to 200 marks, so it's a bit of a commitment, and some of those are big hitters. Uh, Play Asia sticker that came with one of the orders. Um, Alright, PS4. We're getting there, guys. Close to the end. Uh, uh, just start from the top and work my way down. From, uh, from the States, um, this is a limited edition of Bubsy's, the Woolly Strikes Back Perfect Edition. There is a Bubsy game, another Bubsy game that we did get in Europe, but not in not, not this one. But a lot of European sellers have got this complete set, and they're selling it reasonably cheap. I think it was about the £32 mark, all complete. Uh, I've got this part of a 3 for 2 deal in um, game. So again, it was it cost me about 4 or £5 in the end. Um, made of Skier, because I had some vouchers as well. Uh, a good little horror game, a little small independent title. I'll get those for PS4 while you see them. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z again. That was about I paid that about a ten in the end after the three for two deal discount and my, what, what vouchers I had. Um, Hollow Knight. I got this. Who was this? Cash converters about nine quid. Well, that's a good price for that. It's all complete as well. It's got the little sort of map or something inside or post or whatever. A lot of people have got this. Um, I had some vouchers from for Amazon from uh, the, the, the research tests I do, and so it cost me no, nothing in the end. R Type Final Two, a little collector set. I've got the original R Type Final on the PS2, so I wanted to, to stick to a PS PlayStation format of that, even though you can get it on the Switch. Okay. Uh, this game is sort of a, a, a based on Norse Norse mythology. It's a bit of a really nice art style. 
you can get it really cheap now on eBay, guys. I think I got this for about eight pounds with shipping. Um, do look at the artwork on that, guys. If you're interested in, in sort of a, a fantasy Norse mythology sort of um, hack and slash uh, adventure type games with good art style, it's eight quid. Thimble. It's a cheap game. I recommend it. All right. Uh, uh, Saints Row 4 Relaxed Edition with Cat of, Out of Hell. Um, I just had to have this this version with both on. It's about under ten of price range. Um, Apex Legends. Um, I showed one version of Apex Legends disc, which I got for about three quid or something on. And the same seller had the other art version, but he wasn't selling it on their own. He just wanted to get help rid of all the ones he had. But he still sold all, all the ones he had. He had 10 copies of this with shipping, 8 quid. And I thought, 8 quid? Even if I just keep it for spare cases, 8 quid's not bad. Um, so I've got 10 copies of this, all minty, Apex Legends, uh, for, 10, uh, for 8 quid, sorry, 80p each. Even for you know, even though I end up, I mean, I, I probably I'm just going to keep them on the shelf. Yeah, I'm not on the shelf in, in my um doubles for future use, future trades, really. Even though or I just use the boxes or whatever, you know. Um, some people who collect PS4 will want all, all the oddities, and so it, you know, it'll be, it worth something to somebody in the future, I'm sure. Definitely more than 80p anyway. Uh, your Mari, uh, Midnight Shadows, the second game. Unfortunately, the first game was not on PS4, but it was on the Vita. Uh, you can get these together, uh, the 1 and 2 game, on the Switch, but it goes with silly money nowadays. But even on the PS4, I was happy to get this English copy for about a £23 mark, which is pretty good. Because that cart tile is shooting up. Again, I got this in cash converters for under a tenner. Destroy All Humans uh, from the PS2 game, be really good to have that. Uh, it's not the PS2 version, I think it's a more, more updated version of it completely. Uh, this game was again, I just saw in... I think it was in CX for about uh, 8 or £9 pound mark. It's a zombie um, game, Sky Hill. Um, basically, it's a, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of an adventure stroke puzzle game, and stroke survivor type game. You basically, you're at the top of a tower and you've got to work your way down to the bottom to get out, as if... Getting out of a town would mean you're safe. I don't know. This is weird, but you got you somehow manage that. There's about loads of levels there is, and um, I don't think it's, it's zombies. That's why I got it. PS4 zombies I have to have it. Um, I don't think I'll play it though. I did have a, I, you know, I did play it for a couple of minutes just to get a feel for it, but nah, I don't think it's my cup of tea really. Uh. Okay. Limited run. Samurai Jack Battle Through Time. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased to have this on the PS4. Um, the Samurai, Samurai Jack um, cartoons are first class. Extremely underrated. The humour in it is so good, and the art style is so good. Um, yeah, it's Nickelodeon. I think it's Nickelodeon on Cartoon Network, one or two at, at its best. Adult Stream Games, yeah. Okay, um, Pears of Eternity 2, uh, Dead Fire Ultimate Edition. Again, I got this, um, I think I got a first one as well. This was cheap, it was under a tenner. Okay, um, some PSVR games. Uh, I think I got these from base.com because it was the only shop I could see that had any of them in stock. And that is Jupiter Guard, if I spelled that right, or Jupiter Grad. Um, yeah, I think that's like a bit like a. It's, it, was, it, was, it was really big on uh, online gaming, this was. Um, a lot of YouTubers done videos of this. It's like. Um, oh. Um, you got. It, it's, it's like a three dimensional platforming game where you got to get to from one end to the uh, end of the level type thing quite quickly um, oh, I'm not describing it too well but a um, lot, lot of YouTubers have done uh, videos of that um, okay a double bill form and try like path 
two games, but unfortunately not two games on one disc. There's a down co download code for Trilight Path, guys. So if you get this, look out for a new copy if you want to get that second um, game as part of the price. Um, limited run again. Space Channel, uh, Space Channel 5 VR. And another one, limited one, Paper Beast. This is the really unusual art style, that like Salvador Dali art style. So quite immersive, I imagine. Well, before I go on with my final pickup, it's PS3. We have Enslaved Odyssey to West. I had I got the collector set of this, but I didn't have the standard edition, so I thought I'd get it out for cheap and but it's one pound fifty mark. Uh, Saints Row the Third, the full package, which includes all the mission packs and DLC and everything, all on a disc. I didn't know this existed, and it's um, the same price as a standard loan Saints Row Saints Row the Third. So I think that was about eight pound mark or less in CEX. So yeah, and I didn't know this existed either. It's Devil May Cry on the PS3, but it comes with a, a sort of ventricular. Uh, sleeve, or I mean, it's, it's, it's basically a postcard that goes in the front, but it's part of a set, you know, it says PSP and everything else on it. Uh, again, it was about two or three pound mark or whatever from CEX, so I thought, yeah, I'll have that for a collection. Okay, last but not least, a lot of people are playing this. I've been still playing the third one, and I'm halfway through it a minute. <laughs> That's how I'm, so, I'm so behind in my games. So I'm halfway through Resident Evil 3, uh, but this uh, is obviously what everyone's got now, and it is obviously Resident Evil 8, The Village. Um, oh. Pre-ordered the, the box set, collector set, you know, from, from CEX. I'm not going to get it all out. It's there. You know what you know. You know what it looks like, guys. Um, comes with art book, statue. Um, Flexible card, still book edition of the game, uh, and some DLC and stuff. I've uh, got that for retail uh, game for about 220 Pre ordered it months and about maybe six months ago, whenever it was. Um, the PS5 set had sold out, and then I must have got more stock in at the end because we were back in stock again. But I think I, I checked, I think last Monday or whatever. The PS5 and Xbox One's editions are all out of stock now, guys. So I think they still had a few PS4 ones available, guys, if you're interested. But the other systems, I think they're gone now. But to be honest, with a PS4, it's, it's upgradable. So if you do have a PS5, you just stick it in, it'll give you a PS5 version of the game anyway. Whereas obviously, you buy a PS5 version of the game, I don't think they get throw in a free copy of a PS4, do they? So. And, and on my other collector set of PS4, so I thought, consistency's sake, PS4 is not bad uh, for for those um, box sets. So that's what I've done really. So that's it, guys. That's all. That's all my um, pickups. Um, hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah. Take care. Until next time. Bye.